Hello everyone, welcome to Apex SaaS and the series of Salesforce development. Today I'll be discussing about future Apex in Salesforce. But before we deep dive into today's topic, here's a short introduction about me. My name is Yash Sethi. I am a senior Salesforce developer, a trailblazer mentor and the co-founder of Crazy Cloud YouTube channel. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can scan the below QR code and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today's agenda is what is future Apex, why to, why to use future Apex, syntax of future Apex and some things to remember. So first let's understand what is future Apex. Future Apex is used to run processes in a separate thread, thread at a later time when system resources become available. So future methods are nothing but a type of asynchronous Apex which gets run in the background whenever the resources uh, becomes available. The purpose of future method is to provide the benefit of not blocking the user from performing other operations and providing higher governance and executive execution limits for the processes. Let's see uh, why we should use a future method. First of all, future method is nothing but just a normal Apex method with an annotation of at the rate future. Let's understand why should we use future Apex. First thing first, the callouts to external web services, a callout in a trigger would hold the database connection open for the lifetime. So basically what happens, so whenever you are performing any DML operation, at the time of the DML operation into a trigger, if you want to call a future method, let's say, uh, let's say if you are using a trigger, right, uh, which is after insert and in the after insert trigger, if you want to uh, call any external web service, that you cannot do in a in the trigger, right? It is not supposed to be like that. What you need to do is first, uh, you can create a callout. You can call the callout, call the web service in the future method, and that future method can be called in the trigger. So this is how it works because trigger uh, always works in a synchronous way, and Apex method or the callout always works in an asynchronous way. Another one is. Operations you want to run in their own thread when time permits such as some sort of resources in intensive calculations or processing of records. So basically future methods always runs whenever the resources becomes available. It is a re resource intensive calculation, right? And also uh, isolating DML operations on different S object types to prevent the mixed DML error. So first of all, let's understand what is mixed DML error. Mixed DML error occurs whenever you are uh, using DML statements onto the setup and non-setup objects into a same Apex transaction. So basically setup objects are uh, just like users, profiles, right? And the non-setup objects are normally account contacts and the custom objects. So if you are using any DML statement uh, with setup and non-setup objects into the same Apex transaction, you will definitely hit a mixed DML error. To resolve this mixed DML error, we generally use future methods. We just move one, one type of DML statement into the, into the future method so that it would become asynchronous and another one should be synchronous. Okay. So let's see how future method looks like. So this is the basic syntax of future method. This is nothing but a normal class, class declaration. Inside our class, some class, uh, here is a method so called some future method, which is accepting a list of IDs, record IDs, and then uh, whatever business logic you want to have. So this method is future method only if it is annotated with at the rate future. So this is how future methods look like. There are some things to remember while working with future methods. Methods with the at the rate future annotation must be static methods and cannot uh, can only return a void type. So first thing, future methods should always be static and future methods cannot return anything because it runs in the background, it runs in asynchronously. So there is no time when it will get executed and when it will return something, right? So it is not allowed to write any return statement into the future methods. 
the specified parameters must be primitive data types. Future methods cannot accept non-primitive data types like uh, the account, like the S object data types, right? Like the account or contacts. Because see, future methods runs asynchronously. It will only run whenever the resources becomes available. So it suppose you are calling a future method on 12.5, right? And it will get called on 12.10. So in the meantime, any S object record can be manipulated by anyone, right? That is why we cannot use uh, non-primitive data types as a parameter. <clears throat> Future methods won't necessarily execute in the same order they are called. So the calling order, so the execution of future methods, multiple future methods cannot be in the same way, the same order they are called, right? So suppose there are three future method, methods, one, two, three, you are calling first, you are calling one at the first place, then second and the third. It is not necessarily that uh, first will get called first, second will get called second, right? Any time, any method can be executed. Future methods cannot be used in Visual Fold controllers. You cannot call a future methods from a future method. That means from a future method, you cannot call any other future methods. So that uh, it means that chaining of multiple future methods is not possible. You are limited to 50 future calls per Apex invocation. And there's an additional limit on the number of calls in a 24 hour period. So this is your assignment for this future method. You just need to create an Epic class with a future method that accepts a list of account IDs and updates a custom field. Custom fields, uh, let's say uh, you need to create a custom field on account, which is, uh, let's say, number of contacts. So you just need to update that number of contacts with the number of contacts associated to the account. So that's it for today, guys. And I hope that was very much informative to you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me into the comment section. And also follow Epixas onto the below channels. Thank you.